I'm talking about the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. When he died, a lot of people thought that was it. But he loved us enough not to only hang on the cross, but he loved us enough to stay in the grave for three days. But on the third day, he got up with all power in his hands. And when he got up with all power in his hands, that gave us the ability and the, and the right to be free from sin, bondage, and shame. So I want you to know there's nothing that you're going through. There's nothing that you've been through. And there's nothing that can hold you down that what Jesus did on the cross has not freed you from. You are free. He has brought you out. He's brought you over it. He's brought you under it. He's brought you through it. He's brought you out. And today we celebrate that. Because of his shed blood, because of his victory over death, hell, and the grave, we can live and we can have life more abundantly. So sit tight and enjoy these testimonies and these stories of people just like you that God has brought out of some crazy um, death defying situations. And if he did it for them, guess what? He'll do it for you. He's brought us out. He brought me out. He brought me out. He brought me out. He brought me out. When I was in the hospital, I was giving birth to my son and the doctors nicked me on internally with, um, I'm assuming some unclean instruments because I was infected with three different types of bacteria. Um, with the bacteria, it got so bad to the point where I actually almost died, um, became septic. So um, I thank God that he was able to um, heal me from that and bless me still to be here to be able to tell my testimony. I've dealt with um, severe depression, um, just being depressed for years and um, like two or a couple suicide attempts. And um, while in the hospital, um, I was praying to God and asking him like for a sign and, and um, he just gave me a sign through TV, through watching TD Jakes, and I heard like basically healing comes from helping other people and telling about your story, and that you usually ask like why me when I'm going through something, but it's not about you. It's about like helping other people and bringing people out. It was a process. It wasn't something that happened like overnight, um, but I know like he brought me out and I felt different after I left the hospital. At first when I was like ashamed of sharing it and telling about my story, I realized basically what I heard that night that it was about, it wasn't about me, that I wasn't the only one going through it, that a lot of other people were. So by sharing my testimony and putting it out there, I was able to let people know that they're not the only ones going through it. I would just want people to know that we do have the power to be healed and usually people who are really depressed they feel like there's no way out that's why they go um, towards trying to attempt suicide and I just want people to know that God can bring you out. What brought me into Christ was really uh, you know me noticing God's power on my life and it wasn't something that I could like ignore. Um, you know, growing up, I did a lot of the wrong things. I was in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I, I did a lot of things. I've been to a lot of places, I've seen things, and I didn't grow up with the right male structure of role models and leadership in my life. So I turned to everything of what I kind of just saw outside my window. My flesh wanted the weed, my flesh wanted the drinks, it wanted this and that, but spiritually, you know, I wanted to read the word. So at home, I would find myself, you know, doing stuff like that. Um, it was just really the people I was around, my surroundings. I'm now three years clean from smoking marijuana. I haven't touched a blunt or nothing like that. Um, I don't recreational drink. You know, uh, I'm, I'm careful of my surroundings now. I'm around Christ-like minded people. My life is improving. You know, I found happiness. I'm humble. Um, I find peace and joy in the things that I love to do. Um, you know, I don't need to go out to the clubs anymore. I don't need to mess with these different women. You know, God's got a woman for me and I'm looking for a wife. I was adopted when I was a baby. Um, so that right there, God brought me out of something that I don't know what it could have been, but I'm thankful that he brought me to Rochester, New York, to my family. Um, my father and my mother are amazing people. I had the problem with being 
not bloodline. Like, um, so kind of feeling like the oddball, the odd man out, um, re feeling rejected from my birth parents. Um, and then coming to find out that my birth mother actually kept all the rest of her children, even though I was the first one. So um, that was like kind of weird, but God brought me out of feeling depressed or feeling abandoned, feeling sad or like I was not enough. Um, and he's really matured me in the gifts that he has placed in me. So I'm really excited about where I'm at um, what God has taken me. I'm an artist and I can like say that with confidence and not feel as though like my gifts are being taken advantage of or they are not up to par. Um, I do know that I am gifted and they were God gifts. So I want to pour them out. I want to spread them. I want to share. I want to teach others. Um, God truly brought me out of like Moses. I feel like Moses. Um, so yeah. <laughs> That's my story.